So now we are going to see the instruction that is push register pattern. So in this instruction, the up code is push. The remaining portion of the instruction is operand that is register pad. Uh, no data is present in the instruction. It means this instruction is of only one byte. Now let's see the meaning of the instruction. Push register pad. It means push the content of register pad to the stack. Push the content of register pad to the stack. So when this instruction is executed, the data which is present in the register pair will be stored in the stack. Let's see one example. The example is push B. So when this instruction is executed, push B, it means the content of BC pair will be stored in the stack. You can also write push H, it means the content of HL pair will be stored in the stack. Or you can also write push D. It means content of D pair will be stored in the stack. Now let's see uh, the example that suppose before the execution the content of stack pointer is 4003H. It means the stack pointer is pointing to 4003H. The content of D pair is 3456H and the instruction that we are executing is push D. So when this instruction is executed, you know that the content of DE pair will be stored in the stack. Right now the stack pointer is pointing at 4003H. Now when this instruction is executed, the stack pointer will be decremented by 1. When this instruction is executed, the stack pointer will be decremented by 1. So value of the stack pointer will now become 4002H. So now the stack pointer is pointing to 4002H. When the stack pointer is decremented by 1, the higher byte of the DE pair will be stored in the stack. So what is the higher byte of the DE pair? It is a 34H. So in the 4002, the 34H will be stored. After the data is stored, again the stack pointer will be decremented by 1, so it will become 4001H. After the content of stack pointer is decremented by 1, it means now the stack pointer is pointing to this number location. After that, the lower byte of the DE pair will be stored in the stack. So, what is the lower byte of the DE pair? It is a 56H. So, 56H will be stored in the stack. So, after the execution, what will be the content of stack pointer? Stack pointer is pointing to 4001H. And what is the content of DE pair? So, data is always copied and pasted. So, the content of DE pair is 3456H. So using the push instruction, we have stored the data of the register pair in the stack. Now let's see the machine cycle. Because this instruction is of one byte, it will occupy only one memory location. So push D will occupy only one memory location when the instruction is stored in the memory. After that, the processor will start doing its task that is to fetch, decode, and execute. To fetch, the processor will perform the first machine cycle that is upcode fetch. When upcode fetch is performed, this push D will be transferred to the microprocessor. The processor will decode and it will execute. Now during the execution, what is happening? During the execution, the content of D and E is stored in the stack. So if you pay attention, during the execution, processor is actually writing to memory locations. The processor is performing the memory write operations to tap. So how many machine cycles are required? Three machine cycles are needed. Upcode, sorry, memory write. So three machine cycles are required. Upcode fetch plus memory write plus memory write. Now uh, flex. So for this instruction, no flex are affected because this instruction is just like uh, ordinary data transfer instruction. So now we are going to see the instruction that is pop register pair. Uh, for this instruction, the upcode is pop 
the remaining part of the instruction is operand that is branch key star pair. In this instruction, you can see that the no data is present. It means that instruction is one byte. Let's see the meaning of the instruction. Pop register pair. It means pop content of stack to the register pair. Pop content of stack to the register pair. So when this instruction is executed, the data from the stack will be transferred to the register pair. Let's see uh, one example that is pop D. It means pop the content of stack to the DE pair. Now let's see how it works. Suppose before the execution, the content of stack pointer is 4001 hash. It means right now the stack pointer is pointing at 4001 hash. When this instruction is executed, pop D, the data from the memory location at which the stack pointer is pointing will be transferred to the lower byte of the DE pair. So right now the stack pointer is pointing at 4001 H. So data which is present at 4001 H, that is 56 H, will be transferred to the lower byte of the DE pair. So in the lower byte, the data will be transferred. After that, the value of the stack pointer will be incremented by 1. So value of the stack pointer will become 4002 H. So right now the stack pointer is pointing at 4002 H. After that, the data from the memory location where the stack pointer is pointing will be transferred to the higher byte of the DE pair. So right now, the stack pointer is pointing at 4002H. So data that is 34H will be transferred to the higher byte of the DE pair. After the data is transferred, the stack pointer will be again incremented by 1. So now the stack pointer is pointing at 4003H. So after the execution, what will be the content of stack pointer? 4003H. What will be the content of DE pair? That is 3456H. Now let's see the machine cycle. This instruction is of one byte, so it will occupy only one memory location. That is POP register. Now when this instruction is stored, processor will fetch this instruction using the upward fetch. After performing the upcode fetch, processor will decode and execute. If you remember, during the execution, uh, the microprocessor is reading the data from the memory to its own registers. And how many times it is reading the data? Two times. It is performing memory read machine cycle two times. So how many machine cycles are required? Three. Upcode fetch plus memory read plus memory read. Now how many flags will be affected? Because this instruction is like data transfer instruction, no flags will be affected.